Hello veterans, it's George Christos with the Veterans Information Channel, better known as VIC, V-I-C. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, Vietnam veterans. Vietnam veterans, if you were in Vietnam <clears throat> and uh, you have any kind of illness, diseases, anything that you uh, need to address that hasn't been addressed, and uh, if you're not getting help from the VA, if you're having problems filing claims, uh, good, a good idea, a good suggestion would be the uh, VVA, Vietnam Veterans of America organization. They have a special right now. You can be a life member of the Vietnam Veterans Association if, uh, and all you need is your DD, DD, DD-214, DD-214, you know what that is. And if you served in Vietnam from 1961 to 1975, you qualify to be a life member of the Vietnam Veterans of America. It's cost $50 for a lifetime membership. And I forgot to shut the door here. Get the, and uh, you'll get this wonderful monthly magazine that is just full of information, specifically the Vietnam veterans. Okay, it's all about Vietnam veterans. And, uh, you know, 3.4 million, excuse me, dropped it. I'm new at this. 3.4 million uh, U.S. military served in Vietnam. And today, there's less than 500,000 still alive. That is a stunning statistic that we all need to address. I don't think the, uh, the, the research on uh, Agent Orange and asbestos and all these dangerous chemicals that affected them, veterans that research was stopped two years ago, and uh, right now, I mean, we need all the help we can get. So if you're a Vietnam veteran, or if you know a Vietnam veteran, please pass this information on to them. Uh, let them know about this channel, Veterans Information Channel. It's for all veterans, but today we're just specifically talking about Vietnam veterans and uh, the... Uh, organization for Vietnam veterans that for right now if you contact them this is the this month's issue they have a special going on where you could become a life member for fifty dollars you'll get this magazine every month forever you know and uh, whether uh, you know your family, there's information in here on your fam, what your family benefits are, your spouse's benefits, uh, whether it's health insurance uh, or what you're entitled to at the VA, what you were promised, what you didn't get. So many veterans, when I, when I go to the VA uh, facilities, whether it's the clinics or hospitals, and just sitting in a waiting room talking to other veterans, many, many veterans were not aware of the benefits and uh, you know what's going on with Vietnam veterans specifically uh, I just uh, I see this all the time and if you've ever filed a claim or going to file a claim with uh, the VA you cannot file it to them directly you either need to join a disabled American veterans or the Vietnam veterans and let them handle your claim you can get the claim forms online you can fill them out online, you can print them off, but don't send them to the VA. Because they'll just, uh, they'll, they won't approve it. They turn them all down <laughs> as a matter, I mean, that's been my experience. But uh, if you, you know, if you want something to get done and you want to get your benefits before it's too late, <clears throat> please, please, please. Join the Disabled American Veterans or the VVA. Let them process your claim. And uh, especially right now, we just had the, for the Navy veterans, we had the Blue Water uh, Veterans uh, Bill passed in Congress and signed in the Senate and signed into law, but many veterans don't know about it. So if you were on a Navy ship 
uh, off the coast of Vietnam or up the river or if you were on a PT boat, whatever, one of those river boats and uh, you know, you're not aware of your benefits and you, you have uh, claims being filed, uh, you have to resubmit, resubmit the claims and you have to refile under this new uh, law that was just passed. So if you were filing claims for Agent Orange and you were in the Navy on a Navy ship and uh, you've been turned down and it's an appeal, you need to refile it and I even think you have to fill out a new form. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the VVA or the Disabled American Veterans, if you call them, you know, like uh, you can call the 800 number, 800-VVA-1316. Uh, That's 800-VVA-1316. And you can get information about your benefits and this new uh, blue water navy thing that was just passed so that's all for today we just wanted to cover uh, the benefits of joining the VVA vva.org online or you can call them at that number and uh, all you need to do is produce your DD 214 and you can join be a life member for fifty dollars so don't hesitate do something now uh, if you like this channel, you like the information that we're being able to pass along, uh, please uh, subscribe and like us. And uh, if you want to repost us on Facebook, that would be a big benefit, or on Twitter. Uh, we just want to get the word out there. We want to help as many veterans as we can. Uh, I have over 50 years experience with dealing with the VA, the VA healthcare system, and uh, right now this there's a lot of problems going on with the choice program and trying to privatize the VA. Every veteran I talk to, they don't want the VA privatized. And uh, so we got to work on that because, uh, you know, if you may, my experience is as limited as the VA is now because there's 50,000 unfilled jobs. If you make an appointment, you get an appointment with your primary care physician or, uh, or a specialist at the VA, and your appointment is 930, you're not sitting in a waiting room uh, for a long period of time. You're, they see you at 930. They allot enough time. They send you to the outside. My experience is you're sitting in a waiting room for two or three hours, and the doctor, uh, he doesn't have your records from the VA. He doesn't even know where to start with you. So. Uh, my experience, my opinion, uh, I would encourage veterans to stick with the VA, fight it out. Eventually somebody will step up and they'll uh, start uh, filling these unfilled jobs and we'll have more doctors and nurses to take care of the veterans. But uh, it's a fight. You gotta fight for what is right. So uh, please pass this information on, subscribe to us please, and uh, you know, tell, uh, tell uh, any Vietnam veterans you may know that uh, we want to help. And uh, these different organizations, uh, they, they've got the, uh, the power to do something. They're in Washington, D.C. They have representatives there uh, every day fighting for veterans. But uh, you, you got to ask for help. You can't just, uh, you know, you got to take action. So it's George Christos signing off, and uh, I hope you like us. Thank you.